Hello, and welcome to my first episode of Planetary Annihilation. My name is Peregrine, and today we're going to play against the computer just so I can test how well recording works for this game. So, let's get started. Basically, if you don't know how this game works, you have the resources you have. Metal, which is this. And energy, which is this. And they are produced by your commander, which is this guy here. Basically, if he dies, you lose. And the other way you get these resources is through building generators, or energy plants, which basically just generate power. And... Um, metal extractors, which which generate. Um, hang on a second. Okay, they generate. Sorry, I just had to look down at my watch. Uh, they generate metal, basically. So this is a water world. It was a random world, so. Um, and I'm playing against a computer, so this hopefully won't be too hard. But usually, I like to play against a computer with multiple um, planets around so uh, that you're now on the same planet as your enemy. I like to land on planets. Um, basically I'm making fabrics right now which are these plus signs. Um, fabrics is just slang for like fa the fabrication unit. Um, these are bots. Um, they build quickly but don't have much health. Well, we'll build some power generators. Um, these are ships. Um, they can go in water. Uh, the bots cannot, although there is one type of bot that can. It's called a dock. And I think actually slammers can as well, which is like the advanced version of a dock bot. Um, And then there are there are a couple different kinds of bots. There are um, grenaders, combat fabrics, which basically just heal your units, and then booms, which are like self-destructing sabotage bots. We're gonna get some narwhals. I like to start with narwhals as my main combat ship on like these water worlds, just because they are like universal they can attack both um, air and land and ship targets. I like to use them to start with at least. Uh, looks like we're gonna want to get some air fabbers up here. Air is usually pretty good to get on water worlds just so that you can take over um, areas quicker because um, boats are good because they have lots of health, but they move really slowly if you if you notice. Um, so usually it's not the best to uh, divert these fabrics over to help these guys. Um, that'll help with our efficiency, which is right here. Um, it looks like we're just gonna have to like wait until we find the enemy. So I'm gonna build a. Once these guys are done, I can hold shift and then make them build another thing. So we're gonna have them build a radar, which basically will just give us greater line of sight over the planet. It it uh, I don't know how big the radius is. I think if I had fancy graphics on, which I don't, because um, my computer can't handle that. <laughs> fancy graphics uh, than it would show, but um, obviously uh, if I can barely record, uh, I can barely um, have uh, units, or have fancy graphics, sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on uh, getting better at talking without trailing off, it's its pretty hard to do actually. You, like you wouldn't think it would be that hard, but it's a struggle. 
the struggle is real. Uh, but I'll get there. At least I acknowledge it. Oh, I'm not so good at it. It's the first step. Capacity reached. Okay, that just means that we have a set amount of storage and then it'll turn blue and then we're not gaining any more resources. So we can build these uh, storage units, or like storage plants. Um, we'll build one here and one here. An energy and a metal storage just to increase. Get a little, big, a little bit larger of a buffer. Now basically here I'm building these torpedo um, defenses which will basically they just work better against ships um, and then around my base I'm using these laser turrets which work against um, land and um, land and uh, sea units. And then I'm going to put up some pelters. This is kind of an excessive amount of defenses, to be honest. Um, but it doesn't hurt. It can't hurt. This is a pretty good amount of ships. Six ships, six narwhals. Um, we have those guys. Do this. And basically, just keep expanding. Because you really you're, you need a lot of resources. Now I'm getting some air fabric so I can make some more docks. Um, that's uh, dock, uh, docks. It's kind of confusing because there's docks here, and then there's regular dock, like a regular, you know, like a pier, something like that. Sometimes it gets confusing as to which you're talking about, especially when you're playing like Additional metal online. Additional extractors so, required. This guy. I think we're going to use these air fabrics once we get a good group of them. Because they build slower than a uh, regular, like a land faber or a ship faber. Now, we're going to set, we're going to change this. Basically, we can turn it off, and then I'm going to change the units that are going to be produced. And I'm going to have orcas, two orcas for every one narwhal that we make. And then set it to infinite build. So I'll basically just keep producing that over and over again, that combination. Because now we have enough orcas to be pretty good for defense against like air and... I almost said defense against the dark arts, no, Harry Potter. Um, but anyways, anyways, uh, defense against air. Because orcas cannot... These are narwhals, they can shoot air and land and sea. These can, orcas can only shoot land and ships, and they're more powerful against them. These are subs, which I'm not, uh, I don't really like the, uh, um, tier one or, uh, normal. Um, submarines are not very good, but I do like the advanced submarines, which we'll get to. Hopefully. Okay, let's just have those guys do that much, and then have them expand over here, and then we're going to take all of these, if we can, and then build defenses on there, and some pelters. So I just put up some air defenses and some pelters, which basically shoot further than, um, regular defenses. I'm not sure where our enemy is. I might just make some scouts quick with this. Um, basically just fireflies. Take a whole bunch of them. Well, not a whole bunch, but quite a few. They're really fast to make, and so that'll just give us some quick scouting over the planet to try and locate them. Okay. Basically, I'm just going to set them to, I, I just hit click patrol and then drag out, and then they'll patrol over the entire planet. Like that. 
It's kind of cool to watch. And then that should locate. None of them has any reach. So let's see where they are. Detected. There they are. Okay. Any commander detected. Yeah, I've noticed that. Um. Computers do not do well on sea planets. They seem to like to just put themselves in one little location, if you can tell. Which is what you don't want to do. You don't want to do that. You, you want to expand like I've done here. So, so if that's the case, then we'll just have these guys build that, build a little radar, and then we're going to um, get a few docks up. Actually, well, what we're, let's just... Oops. My bad. Put them back on that. Uh, I'm just gonna build a radar once they're done with that. Then I'm gonna send a ship fabber over here. So I really like to use submarines to finish it off. Then you guys can get an idea of like what submarines do. They're like my favorite unit. And then we can build a different kind of submarine as well. I'm just gonna send these ships around now in case they start to realize what they're doing. If the computer understands <laughs> what to do. Doubt they will, but maybe. Uh, let's just have these guys get all of the masses. Now we know that. Now that we know where they, our enemies are, we can just quickly take all of this. And I wonder if I can get it in just the right spot. Yeah. Now I can see a little bit of them. See, every time a scout flies over, it's just dead. Okay. Let's see, has that guy started yet? Uh, yes, he has. Okay, so now all of these guys can go help him. So it'll go faster. So I can get some. And then let's go for you guys. Take all of these. Then I'm going to have them assist it. So, uh, assist. Because hopefully. Oh, I guess I can't assist it yet until after we get some things going. So, these are Leviathan. They shoot ridiculously far. So, maybe I'll, I'll spawn one of those in. And then I'll make mostly Krakens. And just make one Stingray. Just so you can see what they do as well. Um, and then I'll, I'll make a. Another dock over here. I want to show you all the ship units. I should show you all the units. Okay, so these are only hummingbird, and then some bombers, and a pelican. Actually, I'll make some pelicans so I can actually use them for something. Oh, I guess that's too far away from them to help. Okay, so this is a pelican. Basically, this is like a like a aerial transport. They're really fast. They used to be able to pick up your commander. They can't do that anymore, which was really useful because basically then you can take your commander really fast on the planet without going into space, which is what you normally have to do with an asterisk. Which I think I'll just show you that in another episode. Um, build some of these quicker. Uh, I guess since I'm short on time, I won't be able to show you everything that I wanted to. But basically, um, this is the uh, hummingbird, I think. Hummingbird. Yeah, hummingbird. And basically, that's just like a fighter. And then these are two bombers. These two are bombers. They do pretty well here. I'll just send them over. Have them attack over here. They're probably gonna, they're gonna get shot down before they do anything, but but you can see them shoot. Like, doo -doo. Oh, I didn't you couldn't even see it. Um they just drop bombs in a line and then fly around and then drop bombs again. Um so Orcas, let's see, where's the Leviathan? There we go. This is the Leviathan. I was just gonna show you the range that this thing has. Nope, oh, and we have one crack. Look at that, see? Wow. And then the shots, look how far they're going. 
because of orbit, because the planet's like a circle. So that's that looks ridiculously hard. They can't even target that far, but um, sometimes they're like a couple of them. So yeah, you can see how far they, they can shoot. It's just, and it shoots a lot. We're gonna get rid of that so it doesn't destroy their whole base. Of Still shooting. Even at that distance. If, if I can turn that to like an orbit. Here, I think I can just do an attack move, can't I? Just attack this button. Let's test. Can you just attack? No, you can't. Okay. I don't know what the commander is doing, what their commander is doing. We'll just let him go. And kill them with something. These are Kraken, so basically they have Hellfire missiles and they shoot really fast. So yeah, that's the range that a uh, Orc has, which is the lower tier. Um, the Bison. So we'll just send these guys in. Basically, these guys are submarines, so they're invisible to radar, and then they have Hellfire missiles and torpedoes. So they can shoot down air units then. Hellfire missiles. So basically these guys are like Swiss Army knives. And then this is a Stingray and it has um, basically like a missile on board so it'll shoot a, a decent range for shooting. Let's see, can it hit it? I don't think it can. I'd be impressed if it could. No, it looks like it can. But it can also shoot into space. So basically, this is like the unstoppable force. Just these. Because they can shoot. You'll see all the missiles that um, the Krakens can shoot. Okay, it looks like he's going over here. So. Yeah, see? They're already started. Look at that. That's from the Stingray, this big missile. And then all these little missiles are just from the... Yeah, look at that. So extremely powerful. So they can only be seen by line of sight, which is very limited for uh, The textures are a little goofy. See, there's like boats popping up here. That's just because I have uh, Leviathan. Oh yeah, that guy. They have a glitchy texture. See, I don't think they... Yeah, see, they don't have a texture. So then the texture will like show up in other random things. <laughs> it's kind of bizarre. time we'll uh, play with uh, actual people hopefully so see ya